Hey SunBitcoin fam, welcome back to the channel, where we dive deep into the biggest stories making waves across the world. Today, we're talking about one of the most intense international dynamics, Trump versus Trudeau. Yep, the former US President Donald Trump is back with some strong words for Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, and it's creating quite the buzz as we inch closer to the US elections. So, what's the beef this time, let's break it down. Okay, so here's the deal. On Monday, Trump was at it again stirring the pot with some pretty wild claims. During an online interview, he repeated this conspiracy theory that has been totally debunked, that Trudeau could be the son of the late Cuban revolutionary leader, Fidel Castro. Crazy, right? But that's not all. Trump didn't hold back. He called Trudeau a far-left lunatic and said the people of Canada are unhappy with the way Trudeau's leading the country. But he also threw in a curveball, saying he actually gets along with Trudeau, kind of. Now if you've been following the history between these two, you know it's been a roller coaster. Back when Trump was president, their relationship wasn't exactly smooth. Remember the 2018 G7 summit in Quebec? After Trudeau said Canada wouldn't be pushed around by the US, Trump went on a Twitter rant, calling Trudeau dishonest and weak. It didn't end there. Trump even brought up the War of 1812 in a phone call. Asking Trudeau, didn't you guys burn down the White House? Yeah, that actually happened. But things got even more awkward in 2019. During a NATO summit, Trudeau and other world leaders were caught on camera, apparently mocking Trump. Trump's response? He called Trudeau two-faced. Ouch. And just when you thought they might make up, Trump blasted Trudeau during the Freedom Convoy protests in 2022, labeling him a far-left lunatic. This back and forth just never seems to end. Despite all the drama, Trump claims he loves Canada and its people. But let's be real, the relationship between these two leaders has been rocky, especially with the trade disputes during Trump's time in office, the tariffs on Canadian aluminum and steel, the tough talks on NAFTA, oops, I mean USMCA, and the constant jabs at Canada's defense spending. It's clear that Trump's feelings about Trudeau have definitely influenced US-Canada relations. So, what does this all mean for the future? Experts are saying that if Trump gets back in office, Canada could face a lot of uncertainty. Carleton University's Aaron Edinger pointed out that Trump's approach to foreign policy often blurs the line between personal relationships and national interests. And that's where things get tricky for Trudeau. Canada relies heavily on the US for trade and security. So any tension at the top can have big consequences. But here's the kicker. Trump's former advisors say there's another layer to this drama. According to Anthony Scaramucci, Trump might be a bit jealous of Trudeau. Scaramucci says it's because Trudeau's younger and, get this, better looking. And apparently, that kind of stuff really bothers Trump. Can you imagine? But in all seriousness, if Trump does win the US election, Canada might need to brace itself for another round of turbulent times. So what do you think, Sun Bitcoin crew? How do you see this dynamic playing out if Trump gets back in the White House? And do you think Trudeau can navigate another Trump term? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Sun Bitcoin for more in-depth takes on the biggest stories shaking up the world. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video. Also remember, peace out.